Bringing Spinelli back to Port Charles is, is a big risk, I'm telling you right now. Yeah, but there really wasn't a choice. I mean, letting him run around some random place just wasn't going to work, Jason. Even if you had a seat. FBI. I got nothing to say without my attorney. I don't care. You can sit quietly while we do what we came for. I have a warrant to search the premises for Damien Spinelli. Jazz, you've made it so easy, Mr. Morgan. Could it be that your only priority is to save Sonny Corinthus, even if it means Damien Spinelli goes to jail? No sign of the fugitive. Guess we're done here. Where's Spinelli? I don't know. He took off. Ms. McCall. I understand you've applied for a P.I. license. Yeah, what does that have to do with anything? Did you know that the FBI can delay the processing of licenses? <sighs> they can review your paperwork for months, years. Hmm. Is that a threat? Part of my job in the interest of national security is to see to it that the wrong people don't get credentials, licenses. Yeah, well, you know, I actually have somewhere to be, so if you're done with me... You're free to go. Thanks. For now. If you remember anything, let me know. It's not her fault she's now he's gone. That's a good point. Griffin, Tom Rainer, put out that APB on Damien Spinelli immediately and make certain he's listed as armed and dangerous. Spinelli doesn't even have a gun. The kid's not dangerous to anybody, and you're gonna have your men shoot him on sight? You know how to keep that from happening. Let us take him safely into custody. We custom. both know it's not Spinelli you want. He's all you've got to get me to flip on Sonny. If you cooperate, I'll rescind the order, and Spinelli will be out of danger. So who are you going to save, Mr. Morgan? This is when you called. I was just sitting at Kelly's watching Nicholas pretend not to be obsessed with Rebecca. Oh, yeah. I, it's weird. It's very unsettling seeing someone who looks so much like Emily. You know what's more unsettling is, is watching Nicholas pretend that he's not obsessed with her. Yeah. Um, okay, I'm sorry to drag you away from that, by the way. And I, I don't want to impose hey, right hey. now. I'm your mother. It makes me happy to be able to help you. Okay. Um, Agent Rayner, he has threatened to submarine my application for oh. a PI license. What does the FBI want anyways? Is it about Jason? No, uh-uh. Not this time, no. It's, um, it's about Spinelli. They issued an APB for his arrest saying he's armed and dangerous, but that's for right, the same thing the because he's check into like, it. Her to fly. Listen, I don't want you to take the FBI on for me. I don't think... They're treating you fairly. I just, I don't want you to make trouble for yourself because of me. I'm your mother. Nobody messes with my daughter. Spinelli, Spinelli, calm down. Stonkel, check your email for a copy of an APB declaring that the jackal is armed and dangerous. I'm printing out a hard copy to frame and send to Mr. Sir. <laughs> okay, this, this is nothing to be proud of. You're a target. An armed and dangerous one! You don't, you don't even have a gun. Well, the feds don't know that. Exactly. You could be killed. Do you, do you understand that? Yes, don't call. Okay, but I just want you to stay. Hey, stay at Maxie's and you call me if uh, you see anything suspicious. Affirmative. Is Stone Cold certain he doesn't want an extra copy of the APB to hang in the hallway outside the regrettably pink room? Hang it up. Perfect timing, huh? How you doing? I figured you'd be worried about me after Michael's test results. Yeah, I'm uh, sorry I wasn't there. I know. I'm okay. I'm not okay. But I will be. I promised myself that I was going to move on, and that's exactly what I'm going to do. I really did hope that this test was the first step in getting Michael back. 
You know, I thought that it wasn't going to cause him any pain, so it was worth a try. I really believed it was going to work. Sonny was there. He was supportive. Jax was great. He never left my side. But when they wheeled Michael out to give him the test, I just... I wish you were there, too. I'm sorry about that. It's okay. I'm being selfish, I know. No. Yes, Finley's in trouble, and I know it's got to be bad, or you would be there with me and Michael. I'm going to figure something out. I wish I could help you. Mm -mm. You just need to stay focused on Michael and what's going on. Yeah, I can't do anything for Michael. When Patrick walked in, I saw the look on his face. I knew immediately that Michael was not a candidate for the procedure, so I don't know how. But I have to figure out a way to deal with the fact that my son's not coming out. Hey, your timing was actually perfect because I was with my mom when you called. Yeah, I saw her earlier, too, uh, when we had a meeting. Yeah, she told me. I'm sure she also told you I saw Rebecca. Right, that's actually what, why I wanted to see you. I just don't want to know what's going on with you and Lucky right now. He's your brother. Uh, why don't you just ask him? Alex, it's just a little awkward, and I don't mean to get personal, but is there any chance that the two of you might get back be... together? Um, look, Lucky is a, a great guy, and um, you know, I'm sorry we couldn't make it work, but no, it's it's over. Yeah. Yes, I'm sorry to hear that too. I get the feeling that your sympathy has nothing to do with thinking oh, what a great couple Lucky and I made. Well, once it didn't work out between the two of you, I thought that he might get back together with Elizabeth. But they want to avoid making the same mistakes they made in the past, which is turning to each other just because it's familiar. I... Yeah, I... look, that sounds smart. <clears throat> it does, but I, I kind of get the feeling you're leaving something out. Yeah. If Lucky doesn't want to be in a relationship right now why is he all over rebecca hi hey. how you doing good thank you um what can i get you coffee black uh, please yes well how's it going uh yeah i can't wait for general hospital to be up and running so that i can start my real job although mike's been great and uh went out last night so don't really have a lot to complain about yeah um speaking of that going out on your date last night i know it's really none of my business yeah but you're gonna give me your opinion anyway i am yeah um it's just that look nicholas is my cousin and lucky's my ex-boyfriend i care about them both look it was just a date no i'm not please i'm not saying that you feel free to date go out with whoever you want it's just this isn't really a normal situation and believe me i get that you are you and that's it but it's just you know emily was the love of nicholas's life and when he sees you with other guys i know it's gonna hurt and you just seem like a really nice person so i just wanted to make you aware of that i'm just a girl living on tips trying to get by and uh, i'm not gonna turn into a nun because some guy that i barely know has issues it's nicholas's problem not mine uh, no i know i'm not saying that this is your fault at all please don't misunderstand i'm just I don't know, maybe you could be a little sensitive toward it. Look, he's the only one who's not putting his history with Emily on me. No one has a right to make me or Lucky feel guilty about going out. I'm not deceiving myself, Jason, you know. I don't think I can wave a magic wand and detach myself from the situation with Michael. I just, I mean, I should be able to be happy, right? Yeah, Michael wouldn't want you to. I'm kidding myself? Do you think I'm hiding behind some fantasy of a new life? Where, where did that come from? Well, that's what Sonny did. When he got together with Kate and he was trying to start over, he was only doing that because that was his way of dealing with what happened to Michael. Well, I, I, I think so, too, but I don't, I don't think you're doing that. <sighs> okay. I just want to be happy. I want to be Jax's wife. I'm going to start over and I want to renew my vows with him and I want to have a future with Jax and Morgan. <laughs> 